Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. That's what I was going to do. Um, I hope you're well, keeping well. Um, so this episode we are going to do a Pokemon. Uh, the best things to do to start off. We're going to do tips and tricks um, to help you guys out. So let's get into the very first one. Okay, so the very first thing that you should really look for is the size of your sets. So you've got each set um, with different amount of cards in them. So normally on a basic set, a champion's path, uh, the highest number of cards is like 73. Um, but then you can also pull some some rares like rainbow cards, etc, etc. Uh, so it's best to find out which set you're willing to collect first as like a start off. Personally I'd recommend Champions Path as I said, it's got the least amount of cards in it. Um, rather than like, I think Sword and Shield has 202 cards as the normal set and then you get the extra rares and uh, the, you know, the more ones that are worth more money. So that's my um, kind of first thing I'd say, like what set you want to collect. Um, just so then you've put either all your money into it and try and collect it or like go, like go from low to a high set. So that's the first thing I would do personally. Oh, the, the second thing I would do is obviously choosing your binder to store your cards in. So to store your set uh, with the binders. The best set I would go, the, the best binder I would, oh my god, I'm fucking up. The best, no that's too big. Uh, binders is what I'll go for. I normally go for the 12 card slot ones. They're normally like 30 quid a binder. Uh, you can get ones with 12 and I believe 9, um, but you can find them on pokeran.net. I'll leave a link into the description of where you can get them from. Uh, I bought two, my partner's bought two, one of the best ones I've ever used because you can get some like for match attack cards, like you get when you pay like, um, you pay like I think 10 or 5 quid for like the actual match attack binder. They're really shit. And I'll just quickly show you what it looks like. So when you open it, so say, so you, they only open from the sides, uh, left and right. They don't, they don't like have the top available, so they don't fall out. I mean, sometimes they do slip um, a little bit, and you have to push the sides. But I mean, I'm trying to see what, show you what I mean. If I've got any like them, they do sometimes slide, but literally one of the best binders in the game for cards. Next thing to worry about is the sleeves. You can buy uh, like the sleeves of your cards, I should say. You can get the very cheap ones, but they're so like flimsy and they're not very sturdy. There's quite a few you can pick from. Some on Amazon you can get some coloured ones. So we've got these ones at the moment. Um, they're a bit sturdy, well, not as flimsy. The other ones are like really like flimsy. These feel more of a thick thickness to them. I did have another one where one was clear on one side and one was really textured on the other side and it was very, uh, I'd say, even tighter um, so it can keep your card safe. Obviously they'll protect, they'll protect dust um, and make, basically make your card less damageable I guess um, than if you just slide them in your binder. I mean you can get other ones. You normally get uh, these from ETB, so you've got a Eevee from Shining Fates and you also can get the Charizard from Champions Path which is really cool. I like to try and keep them for each set that you collect but obviously there's some that you can't get like, I think you can't get the maybe Voltage ETB because I know some of them are being not made anymore so you just got to be, you can choose what you want to do, you can customise it the way you want it but I'm just trying to give you the best way that we've done it to make it easier or nicer. Four is packs. So when you go into a shop, um, like at Argos, if you're in the UK, Argos, Asda, some uh, maybe Sainsbury's, uh, Co-op normally do them. Quite a lot of shops do Pokemon cards. Um, now there is something I, I bought which I shouldn't have done, which was a theme deck. So if you see any theme decks, you can buy them. The only problem is they're not. You're gonna get the same cards in that deck because they're mainly for battling. So that's just a deck made for battles. So you're gonna get random sets in there. If you buy the same theme deck, you're gonna get the same cards in there every time. So that's what I bought by mistake, and 
uh, yeah, I'll learn my lesson. So the best thing to look out for is if you go to w.tcg.com, uh, who I use, they've got a lot of booster pack DTBs of that specific set that you can collect. They also, if you message them, they also look into trying to get the set that are booster boxes and stuff for the sets you do collect if they don't sell it on the website. Um, but if you go to like Argos, if you could, for instance, so you've got uh, this tin, they call it set tins. You can either get Slowbro, Lucario, or Mew. Uh, and each of these tins contain two of voltage, a breakpoint, and sword and shield. They did do another one um, with two Darkness of Blaze, one Sword and Shield and one Sun and Moon I believe, um, but they're hard to come by and find. Uh, so yeah, basically if you find single packs of your set or these tins, um, then they're better for you rather than buying theme decks and stuff like that, because they're actually like the TGC packs, I guess for your set. So that's, that's, that's just a tip. Right. But also you need to kind of like do some research on what what you, yeah, sets you're collecting and what comes in what tin. Not every set is in every tin, but that is your research to do. So that's that's my advice as well. Stay away from theme decks unless you unless you want to battle I guess. But mainly stick to a sort associate I what they call assorted tins or something. Just stick to these. Or booster box. Step five, a uh, good one is Please be responsible with your purchases. Some people who are making this video may have spent quite a lot on Pokemon. And I would say like £300 the first month of actually collecting. I went overboard. So just be responsible and uh, just, just don't go overboard. Uh, and I think that is it realistically. There's not much to, to note. Um, to note really, I mean there's loads of accessories that you can buy like uh, the top loaders which are a stronger um, sleeve but they're not really for your binders so I would save up for grading but we could do that in another video but yeah if you want to, I don't know, if you want to, I don't know what you want me to do <laughs> let me know, let me know if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and comment what again what you want me to do whatever pokemon related stuff you want me to look at or whatever or any new ideas for videos so uh, check out my store which again will be in the link description um for any duplicates that you may need or want uh there is a lot of stock that i need to put back on the store from last week which i don't know will be done in the next couple of days or maybe next weekend we will see but yeah it's been your boy Steve Vlogs, it's been really fun. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!